I'll start with a sphere and shape Tracer's face from all sides for a simple oval shaped head. I'll create a new sphere, pull it down and scale it for her neck. I'll add a third sphere, place it to the side, mirror it and push it inwards for her ears. I'll start carving the front part of her face, indicate her nose, bulk up her mouth area and smooth things out. I'll add a sphere for her eyes, place it in her eye sockets, mirror it, then sculpt her upper and lower eyelids. I'll carve in her nostrils, crease in her mouth, define her lower and upper lips, then sculpt in some more ear details. I'll grab some polygons from her eyes, apply a black color, and then I'll grab other polygons for her iris and apply a brownish color. I'll then further improve her lower eyelids. With the snap tool on, I'll extrude vertices to model her eyebrows, then turn them to black. I'll extrude more vertices to model her some eyelashes. Cool. With a curve, I'll create her first hair strand, place it, and move the points to form the shape. Then I'll duplicate that hair strand and repeat the process. I'll do that for a few hair strands, then I'll create a new sphere, move it around to cover her cranium, then get back to adding more big hair strands to fill her head, followed by some smaller hair strands here and there to make it more interesting. Nice. I'll create a plane with the length of her head, duplicate it 7 times for a 7 head figure, then use it as a guide for her proportions. I'll then create another plane, scale it, and place it down for the floor. I'll create a sphere for her torso, her pelvis, her upper arms, her legs, her feet, and her hands. I'll scale up her torso, shape her pelvis a bit, then I'll scale her upper legs, duplicate them for her lower legs, then I'll do the same for her upper arms and forearms. I'll move things around and shape her body a bit, then I'll add a sphere for her thumb, scub the base of her hands, place and scale her thumbs, duplicate it for her index finger, then duplicate that finger a few times till this chick has a handful of fingers. Nice. With the body block out done, I'll start sculpting her torso, working on her anatomy while keeping it simple for now. I'll continue merging other body parts, sculpting in her forms while keeping the whole body at around the same level of detail. I'll add a new sphere, apply a brown color to it, pull it upwards and sculpt it around the form of her body for her shirt. I'll place a new sphere for her sleeves and sculpt it over her arms. I'll apply a yellowish color for her pants and a white one for the base of her shoes. I'll place a new sphere for her rolled up sleeves and another sphere for the collar around her neck, keeping different parts of her clothes separate to make my life easier. I'll go over these new parts that I added, sculpting and improving the forms, refining areas, and adding some folds to give the impression of fabric. I'll continue to do that till the overall sculpt is at a decent level. Nice. With a new cylinder, I'll start modeling her chest thingy to make her 110% cooler. I'll use basic modeling techniques such as scaling the polygons, extruding them, and moving them around to create some nice basic shapes. I'll create a sphere, scale it down, and apply a bright teal color. I'll then create an instance with Alt-D, place it on her chest, then I'll continue to model the original shape, affecting the instant duplicate as well. I'll continue to extrude and model the shapes to wrap around her forms, then I'll duplicate that front thingy for her back, and continue to extrude the polygons. I'll now use a curve just like with the hair to create a strap around her leg, then duplicate it to have more straps around her thighs and move the points around. I'll duplicate it again and continue making a bunch of straps for her outfits. I'm not being lazy by the way, just efficient. <clears throat> I promise. Using all of the methods I showed earlier, I'll continue to model all of her accessories, keeping the shape simple and easy to manipulate. I'll then finish modeling her shoes by extruding vertices with the snap tool on just like I did with her eyebrows, creating simple forms that will follow the base form of her shoes. To finish the annoying to model, I mean cool design of her pants, I'll retopologize her legs using the same exact methods I used for the eyebrows to create another layer of pants with a cutout part on the side of her legs. I'll then use curves to create laces over that cutout part, then I'll model a simple shape that these laces will go through, place it, and create a bunch more for all of the laces. I'll model her collar a belt, add more hair strands to improve the look of her hair, then model her earrings. Nice. I'll now model her goggles to make her 135% cooler. I'll place a plane in front of her face, extrude the vertices, then move them around to create the frame of her goggles. I'll duplicate a plane from the frame of her goggles, then turn it to black. I'll then grab the inner edge loop of the frame, duplicate it, fill it up, and turn it to orange to finish Tracer's goggles. To make her 150% cooler, I'll give her a pose. I'll create an armature, place it down, scale it up, place the bones to fit her relaxed pose, delete unwanted bones, place the rest of the bones, then I'll connect her to the armature and make sure it works. I'll move her hips, her shoulders, rotate her body, her head, and her eyes. I'll place her right arm on her hips, move her legs, and finish up with some tweaks. Nice. I'll fix some deformations from the new pose, improve and refine some areas, sculpt more folds, and improve the overall sculpt, making her now 179% cooler. I'll now unwrap the face and eyes to start texturing, switch to the EV render engine, turn on the lights, and start painting her lips with a reddish color, then paint in some blush for her cheeks and some reds for her nose. I'll also paint in some gloss for her lips and a few stylized lines on her nose and eyelids. I'll finish off texturing her iris with different shades of brown and finally add some reds to the outer parts of her eyes. She is now officially 196.7% cooler. I'll give her a pose back and give her a spin to show her coolness off. Nice. Real nice. 
Okay, cool. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be the first to watch my future videos. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.